What's going on guys, Pre-Raptor here. So today we're gonna talk about the ancient god of fighting himself, Ogre. Yes, so Ogre first appeared in Tekken 3 as the main boss of the story. So the lore behind Ogre is that uh, basically he was this ancient fighting god and um, Hiachi, uh, who was the leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu, sent out the Tekken force to get samples or defeat Ogre for his experiments. But Ultimately, you guys know Ogre kicked their asses and everyone died. So here's a bizarre thing, right? I've been I've been reading on Ogre for this uh, today at work. So basically, I've come across this uh, line where it says that Ogre killed King in fight. King, uh, taken three King, but well, they two Kings actually. So that's weird. King never died. We, I, I mean, I didn't see King dying in Tekken three, but it said that Ogre killed Tekken three, put Baked No Sun into a coma, which which is true, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's true. I think that's canon. And supposedly killed um, Jun Kazama, Jun's mother, uh, Jin's mother, sorry, Jun's mother, Jin's mother. And yeah, basically he he was the main boss for Tekken Three. Um, so o Ogre basically has two forms, Ogre and True Ogre. So here's a funny thing, right? Uh, if you played through Paul's side of the story, guys, if you played through Paul's side of the story, he basically uh, kill fit, uh, wins the tournament. He wins the tournament and leaves. But here's the catch. Yeah, here's the catch. He doesn't win the tournament because Ogre morphs into True Ogre, which kept the con tournament going. Which we see in Tekken 4 that in his prologue that uh, Paul becomes homeless. That's the reason why because he thought the tournament o was over, but it was not over. Yeah, that's that's the lore. And in, so his appearance was in Tekken 3, Tekken 1, Tekken 1 and 2. But in Tekken, Tekken 1 and 2, he did not have that big of storyline that he was not the main boss of the character. He was there. Uh, as as a tag of, or or a character that they would just want to put in there, so yeah, basically th that's that's the lore behind Ogre. So also I've I've, I've been on Reddit and I've, I was going through the Reddit of Tekken I, and I've seen this post of I don't know man people really people really want or uh, Ogre to be back in Tekken uh, Tekken Seven as a DLC or a season three character because uh, I've I've seen on Reddit people, people some people really want him. Uh, uh, interesting, interesting article, interesting comment where I saw someone said that they want Ancient Ogre, or Ancient Ogre is the humanoid form of True Ogre. Uh, basically, he, he was called Ancient Ogre in Tekken Tag 2, so yeah, they want Ancient Ogre and has have his rage drive as he turns into True Ogre, like Kazuya turns into Devil Kazuya. But no one really uses uh, Kaz Devil Kazuya, but True Ogre will be heavily used because of his wide range of cheesy moveset. If you guys know Tekken Tag 2, or Tekken, Tekken 3 Ogre was the cheesiest Ogre that lived with his fire breath, snake arm, with his uh, bull rush, bull rush which was insanely overpowered guys, he, he was amazing, amazingly, amazingly cheesy. Not amazing, amazingly cheesy, I mean he was good but he was like cheap, he was really overpowered in Tekken 3, same in Tekken Tag. Uh, Tekken Tag 2 I think it was balanced kind of but he had the wailing moon which uh, Wang had, it's a grab where he stuns the opponent. And in Tekken Tag 2, you know, guys, if 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 it was uh, launch, if you got launched, if you got tagged, wall break, floor break, you're dead basically. You're <laughs> you're basically dead. The game was not balanced at all. Good thing I didn't play Tekken Tag 2. I would rate really hard. But yeah, we're gonna see through through some of uh, Ogre's storyline basically, and uh, and see if we want him in Tekken 7. So let me know what you guys think as well. If you want or two Ogre, or Ancient Ogre or True Ogre in Tekken 7 as a DLC character or not. That being said, let's watch some videos. Okay, so this is Tekken 3's Ogre and True Ogre's ending. Passing out. Yep. See that? True Ogre. That's where he morphed after Paul left. So basically, I think this is what this is was when Jin was fighting that he turned into True Ogre. He does, he doesn't like those helicopters. Did he just did he just do this? I don't know what that means, but it looks uh, looks savvy. All right, uh, Tekken Three Ogre and True Ogre is ending. Now we're gonna see two Tekken tags, Tekken tags uh, Ogre and. Oh, this is this this is the this is ancient ogre, not true ogre. It's, this is called hybrid. The ending, the ending is called hybrid. Okay, so basically, he takes uh, Jin's power, absorbs his power. 
we have unknown. Yeah. Yeah, so we all know what, what the outcome of this is that he if he, if he, if it's his story, he will bid um June and get her powers, which makes him a hybrid. Now the 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 name of the uh, cutscene makes sense. Hybrid. Okay. This is True Ogre's ending for Tekken Tag 1. What? Kazuya? Yep, that's double Kazuya. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too many ads. Oh, he got fucked. Sorry, I'm not allowed to say that. Friendly family content. Yep. So. True Ogre beats uh, Devil Kazuya. Not not that big of a storyline that has nothing to do with the main story. It's just it's just there because it's just there. So this is True Ogre. But we, we, uh, True Ogre side of the story. Before we see that, we'll see Ogres, Ancient Ogres. In Tekken Tag 2, it was called Ancient Ogre. Okay. I mean, not a big fan of this cutscene. I mean, the art style is unique, yeah, but not a big fan of it. So many ads. And he has more ogres. It's great for humanity then. Oh, he's huge. So yeah, end of humanity as we know it. Ogres have taken over the world now. What you gonna do guys? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys? I'm gonna stop. Yeah, so the world is basically taken over by two ogres, uh, ancient ogres at this point. Civilization has been destroyed. They want to make the world in their own image. Okay, that, that was... That, I guess I told you guys, that has nothing to do with the main storyline. So, yeah. The last one for true ogre, Tekken Tag 2, let's do it. Right. It's definitely true over becoming huge. Yep, what I tell you. Ogre look Tekken Tag 2 Ogre looks sick. He, he had a good good design in Tekken Tag 2. Really liked his beard and stuff like that. Oh my god. Yep, that camera melted. Okay guys, so that's that's all for Tekken Tags or Tekken uh, Tekken's Ogre or True Ogre. Let, let me know what you guys think. Let me, go, let me know if you guys want True Ogre for Tekken 7's DLC or Season 3. Uh, if you guys would be interested, would you guys play him or not? But yeah, nevertheless, just made the video. Let's, made it, let's, let's predict or let's hope that we get True Ogre or not. Entirely up to you guys, entirely up to the fans. That being said, stay safe. Peace. Legends never die When the world is calling you Can you hear them screaming out your name?